Scorpio friends, welcome to Terra Mod Love. We're going to do your heart spread for the third week of May, so 17th to the 23rd of May, guys. Um, here, uh, special beach edition. Thank you for joining me. And um, a sip of coffee here. Mm -hmm. And the morning light. And now we're going to look at you and your person that's on your mind. Just who's on your mind, who's in your heart. You don't have to be with them. It's going to pick up with, uh, what, who you're thinking of. This is you, being single maybe, doing you, being yourself. Very good energy to have in terms of a relationship, ironically. Um, particularly if this is a new relationship, if you're just engaging someone. So you're coming in a position where you're self-contained, you take care of yourself, you don't need anyone, you're the happy bachelor. You're a successful bachelor, you could say. Kind of would go on that horrible TV show. <laughs> Reality TV show, God help us all. And page of Wands, now it's your person. So, it's not bad energy to show up in a relationship with. It really implies here, um, this is you and this is them. Kind of looking at a little bit how you are just in yourself around relationships uh, before you get with each other. But boy, this page of Wands is looking right at you. I'll be a younger person somehow, fire sign. Uh, uh, it could be, you know, Aries or Leo or Sag person. And um, Scorpio, they're interested in you. And, uh, you know, they may, you know, you're this, uh, uh, the Nine of Pentacles is almost like the Queen of Pentacles. You're just about that level. And um, it's like um, the Minor Arcana kind of virgin, uh, version of that. So, you know, they're really kind of looking up to you uh, on a pedestal type energy right out of the chute, you know. Like just where they're at, you know, they're open to love, they're charismatic, they might be sexy, might be very good looking, um, they might be uh, very good, uh, very have a lot of prowess in the bedroom, possibly, you know, and not only in the bedroom, maybe in your mind, let's see what you're thinking, but now that you're in the relationship, it's just pretty crucial, you're in the four swords energy, once you're in the relationship, what a dramatic shift, I gotta see what they're showing, alright, God, I'm seeing this kind of thing constantly, in every different combination, I'm seeing this similar thing, where um, these people are being drawn to you, and, and reading after reading, and taking your energy, you know? I mean, Four Swords is pretty uh, serious, like, honestly now, uh, Scorpio, have been sick lately, like physically sick lately? Have you been having ailments and stuff? Uh, because it's like, you now Nine of Pentacles is going along, being healthy, having your good life, it's organized, it's cool. You know, now here comes along this fireball, and they're all into you, man, Two of Cups. They're like, it's like, a page of wands to a Two of Cups. You were on the first date, and they were like, I think you're my soulmate, I love you. And by the second date, if not sooner, they were like, I want to marry you. <laughs> you know? Uh, and... Um, it's almost like it's making you ill, but this is the person on your mind. God help us, the world. This is the advice from spirit for you in the relationship. And I think this is spirit telling you, it's almost like, you know, uh, I saw those memes with the angels. It's like, uh, here's my angel, and it shows the angel with the head playing. Like, oh, my God, you know. Um, it's like they're, they're trying to tell you, my God, uh, Scorpio, you, won't, you have the world. You have the world. Keep that in mind. You started with the Nine of Pentacles here. The Two of Wands. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe it's my mood. This is like their advice in the relationship for them is to fuck off. It's like the universe is saying, you need to fuck off. You need to go away. You know, because look, this, this two of wands, too, he's got his backpack. It doesn't look all that traumatic. This is the page of wands. And then they kicked him out of the castle. And they're like, you know, fuck off. You know, go out into the wilderness and have a walkabout there, page of wands. You know? I'm kind of angry. I don't know. I got a feeling. I'll say this. I don't care. Look, Scorpio, I got a feeling like you need to be angry. Because if you withhold anger, it makes you sick. Just, you can Google it. It's documented. Okay, very strong correlation. So, you know, be angry at them or something, you know. Um, 
I just think like they're using you. When they feel two of cups in their relationship and you feel the four of swords, they're just sucking your energy dry, man. They're sucking you dry, vampire, big time. And, um, you know, they're telling you, well, God knows what they're telling you, telling you anything you want to hear. And your advice here in the relationship is to, for the whole is to consider, are you married or are they married? One of you is married, I think is what this is saying. And the universe is saying here with the Hierophant, uh, consider this. Consider the ramifications here to a long-term existing relationship that's going on. And then this is, whole thing is a long-term relationship. Then your person's, you know, probably going out and fucking around. And uh, otherwise it's similar to what I was saying. Is you've been going at this for a while. No wonder you're feeling sick and need healing in the relationship. And the outcome is the Knight of Swords. It's like, think of that Four of Swords energy here. We're going to have to clarify this out. The three cards. We're going to take the Two of Swords, the Six of Swords, and Strength. Wow. I don't know. I got the feeling like this is going to come to like a really hard ending because this person's not going to take this advice and fuck off, frankly, or move on. I, I want to think like move on to the next victim. And I just got a feeling like if you're a Libra, you'd probably stop watching. But you're probably like, I mean, if you're Scorpio, you're like, man, what you talking about? This, this person's so wonderful. You know, but look, you're clarifying out. So you go from the Two of Swords from the Knight of Swords. This is having to take action. You're very direct action. And I think it's, again, like expressing your anger, too. I told you, like, you got to express your anger. Because this person's, like, taking you down. It's like, you've got the world. You've got no reason to be in this, in bed, sick, other than this fucking relationship, you know? And so when you deliver this message, ultimatum, all this, you know, it's a two of swords energy. I think that's the whole thing. You, them, not getting it. Uh, not accepting it, it's particularly them. I think they're just like, you know, this two of swords speaks to their two of cups. And it's like, you know, you saying to them, uh, maybe what this knight of swords is saying is like, you know, yeah, I get it, your two of cups, but no, uh, no, I don't give a shit. I get it that you love me. I get it it's that you're offering me your wonderful cup of love. And it's it's very nice, but uh, take it away, okay? And then the six of swords, so fuck off. <laughs> So this, I think, now is finally you uh, moving away, maybe both of you, but you definitely finally moving away. And it's all sword-driven through thoughts, communication. It's like you may have trouble saying no to this person, trouble asserting yourself with this person. And the final outcome is strength. Now, I always see strength as a, as a blessing. It's a blessing energy uh, here. And so you're being blessed with strength. You're going to need strength. I think it's going to be hard for you to do all this. Even though you're the nine of pentacles, it's like, man, this person got you. It's like they reached in and grabbed your heart and they said, like, I got it now. And you best do what I want, what I say, or I'm going to squeeze or something. And you feel like you just can't uh, get away from them. Um, and with the hair font here, too, it may be advice for you to rely on the help from a, uh, an existing relationship, even uh, Scorpio, or from an uh, ex, something solid, or even from just family here. Uh, um, it could even literally be speaking about rely on traditions, rely on the church, rely on some kind of foundation to help give you the strength and to help you extricate yourself, you know, and say what you need to say. Because it's a matter, and the sword is all about boundaries and assertion boundaries and assertion i hate to end the heart spread like the next one so it's all going to be in the end about you having strength to say you know block 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 next 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 you know and maybe a promise that in the end no matter how it looks now you're going to walk away from all of it to being stronger because i was concerned with this nine of pentacles that they really take you down but in the end they don't take you down you're even stronger than before you know, maybe you become the queen of pentacles in the end. Thank you, Scorpius.